Hello. So we have just signed another striker. Oh yeah. And we've all got very high hopes, haven't we, Craig? Yes. And his name's Vincent, not Victor. Exactly. Mm. His name is Vincent Janssen, and we don't know if he's going to be quality for us or terrible for us. We obviously hope. It's the Fingers former. crossed. Hope he's going to be great. But what we thought we'd do in honour of this signing is we would go through the five best and five worst Spurs strikers of the Premier League era. Oh, yeah. So I'm in charge of worst because I am a cynical man. Uh, although Craig has been pretty negative lately anyway. Yeah. Um, but he's going to have to positively spin this as he's in charge of the best. So I'll kick it off with the fifth worst striker for Spurs of the Premier League era, Roberto Soldado. I think you're being kind to the man, okay? You this think guy... he should be closer to the number one spot? Yeah, I mean, I don't think he'll necessarily be number one, but I thought he was a huge letdown, scored loads of goals in La Liga. Um, was our one record of those, signing as well. Our record signing. He was a fox in the box um, over there. Came over here and he was just poor, man. He scored like three goals in open play. Most of his goals came from the penalty Only spot. Only two, two from open play. You were, oh, you two. were generous. It was two from oh, open see, play. Oh, I'm I being think, generous. Yeah. And, um, and then four penalties. And in the Fiorentina moment. Of course, the Fiorentina moment. In the Europa League. Comes up all the time. I feel sorry for Bobby Soldado, and that is why he's number five. Why do you feel sorry for him? Because he's a nice lad. He, he tried his best. Yeah. It wasn't like he didn't try. It wasn't like watching Adebayor, who's not in this list because I didn't want to have to say his name. When you watch him and he wasn't even trying. But you trying. just said his name. But I would say he did have some quality and he scored some important goals. But he was a nightmare as a person. Whereas Soldado is yeah. a lovely, nice, old man with a walking stick. He's constantly tweeting about Spurs, saying, well done Spurs, I still love you. And obviously we know why he's doing that, is so that in videos like this, I don't slag him off. <laughs> and the, it's worked. The thing about Saldado is, you're only number five. If being a kind man equated to success, yeah. then he'd be the most successful footballer of all time. Yeah, and but Curry it doesn't, it doesn't. And you putting him as number five is very generous. We lost 16 million pounds on him as well. As oh, we, him for 10 million. God. we got you, 10 million for him though. You know how Daniel feels about that? I oh, know, he's not happy. Well, that's anyway, that's where I've put him as my fifth worst. Who is fifth best? All right, so fifth best is the one and only Robbie Keane. Now, I know he's a fan favourite. Everyone loved him. They loved his little celebration, you know, the kind of cartwheel into a roly-poly. Yeah, 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 with the guns. Gun. It was one of the best celebrations, I think, for Great celebration. Spurs, man. Not many people have topped that. I loved it. Um, we bought him from Leeds in 2002. Uh, it was on deadline day, and he cost us seven mil. Remember the glory days? Yes. Yeah, when seven, seven mil. mil was a lot of money. When seven mil was like, wow. Yeah. We've just paid seven mil exactly. for a striker. Seven that is mil for Robbie Keane now in today's climate. Amazing. Crazy. But yeah, we, we bought him from Leeds and um, he was phenomenal. He, he was scored amazing. a bunch of goals. He was here for, I don't know exactly how long because I haven't written it down. But I mean, I'm guessing it was years, like, six, yeah, six, seven six years. years. He was there for a while and he, he was phenomenal before he went to Liverpool, which was a bit weird. That was a bit why. weird. I don't know where he went it to Liverpool. Weird. He was nowhere near as good as he was at Spurs at Liverpool. Yeah. And he also uh, yeah, was didn't. one half of one he of the best it. partnerships we probably saw in our lifetime. Dimitar. Berbatov and Keane. He lifted the right. league cup for us in 2008. That was an after amazing After Woodgate scored that goal in uh, extra time. So, I mean, yeah, we, he's, he's a good player, Robbie Keane. I've always been a fan of Robbie Keane, and I think he's deserved of being number five on uh, my best Could be best higher. Could be you reckon? Higher. Yeah, potentially. Potentially. Right. Actually, he's a quality striker, one of my favourites. Let's go to number four. Number four, the fourth worst striker for Spurs in the Premier League era. I have given it to Sergei Rebrov. Oh, remember him? Of course, of course. 11 million. I think we potentially broke our record for him at the time as well. That's a lot. Um, Ukrainian player. Uh, used to play up top with uh, Shevchenko yep. for Ukraine. Uh, and he was quality. I think at the time we signed him, was he the top scorer in the Champions League? Is that right? Uh, and he got nine goals for us in his first season. And then he got frozen out by Hoddle and sent on loan <sighs> twice before eventually we sold him uh, because he was no good. I think nine he goals a spell is at West Ham as well. Uh, where he was also terrible, he just couldn't do it in England. Nine goals was such a poor return. We thought he was going to be. Was high, the huge. hopes were yeah, so like, high. When we got him, it was like a huge thing. Yeah, it, it was, was a huge. Thing. It was. It was. And but you think he should be above Soldado on this list? Like now that you're putting it into perspective. Yeah, now I've said the next to each other. It is a bit. <laughs> it's a bit harsh on Rebrov, actually. Uh, it's a boy. It's a bit nice. It's a bit nice on Soldado. But that's what I've gone for. Okay. I don't see Rebrov tweeting about Spurs. <laughs> Does, he Does he even use Twitter? Does he even use Twitter? Congratulate. Probably not. Probably doesn't even use Twitter. Didn't grow up on this generation, Reese. Rubbish. Probably steals Ukraine. pages, people. Unbelievable. Anyway, number four on the best strikers list is Teddy Sheringham. Yes. Oh, yes. 
He loves to score on and off the pitch. We know about Teddy very Absolutely well. Lad. Played for a bunch of clubs, of course he did, but he joined Spurs in 1992 for 2.1 million. Came from Nottingham Forest. I mean, what do you, what do you think of him? What was your thoughts player. of him as a player? Did you, was you a big fan of Teddy Sheringham? Love Teddy Sheringham. Amazing in the air. Yeah. Quality at holding the ball up. I remember in a 5-1 victory we had, he did this amazing chest. Yeah. Which just silk down for a volley. And it was just, ah, oh, it was right exactly where I sit as Spurs. I love Teddy Sheringham. As I a always, bloke and as a player. I always looked at Teddy Sheringham as like the David Beckham before David Beckham. If that makes sense, it he kind of made they were completely different players. No, not as players, Reese. I mean, as they were, he was like the first. British, he wasn't, he wasn't the first, boy. but he was like a he was like a celebrity off the pitch. Yeah, okay, there weren't I many understand. footballers that were really, you know, in the papers, yeah, but he was entertainment show biz. He was always out there. His name was always going about. Ladies, man, Teddy Sheringham was just—he was a character. He was. He was a good lad, and he still is. And he scored. He's a good, fun guy. He scored a lot of goals. He scored a lot of goals for us. If you watch the Euro uh, 1996 documentary that Alan Shearer did for the BBC, Teddy Sheringham no. was a lot of. He was good fun. Good fun on that documentary. That, he that also did gonna... it for a number of different uh, English clubs, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, he did. He was good. He was good. Did it for West Ham. But uh, yeah, we don't. We don't watch that one. Played for yeah. us twice as well. Two spells at us. Quality in both. He did well. Again, could have been higher up. Nah. Looking forward to seeing who's beaten Sheringham and Keane. Number three, the third worst. Helder Postiga. Uh, we talked about him in a video uh, last week about Postiga being terrible. So we bought him for 6.25 million, right? Which could have risen to 8.5 million. Of mm. course, it didn't rise to that because that was based on achievements, uh, based on how many goals he'd score. And if uh, anything, and if based and on achievements, really, it should have went down. We should have got some money back, really. He, he was that Yes, poor. exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He scored one league goal. That's all he did. One. Yeah. One. But, but, but for Portugal... He was oh, a he revelation. Was I mean, he was dinking penalties down the middle with all kinds of pressure on him. He was just another footballer that cared about his hair he too was much. Like, he was like Adair. He's a haircut footballer. Did he, he make your, did he make your haircut footballer, footballer list? I think maybe he was an honourable mention. For my was he? With the hair he was one of the original hair band boys. He, maybe he was in it. He must have probably was in it. He's a good looking boy, Postiga. Well, didn't know you was that boy. way inclined. Bit of a pretty boy. Oh, look, I can just admit objectively when a man is good looking. Fair enough. And Postiga's on my list. Uh, he's also on this list, and he's the third worst. Can't really argue with that. No. All right, so number three on the best strikers list is none other than Jurgen Klinsmann. This guy is an absolute legend, and he's actually a great manager now as well. But we signed him in 1994 for two million, and in his first season, he bagged 21 goals. 21 yeah. goals. But then he, he only stayed for a season, which was yeah, strange. Yeah, it is. But he, he saved us. He did, he did save us. He saved us big time. Uh, he was there for a season and a bit. Didn't he come back again for a little yes, brief Yes, he came spell in a loan spell loan. from Sampdoria and he scored 15 goals. So this yeah, guy is he's just... He's a quality player. He's just and, a goal machine. And he was a good manager for a bit. And apparently... For a bit. I mean, now he's over at USA. He got they're them far in the head, World though. Cup. Apparently they're calling for his head now. I don't understand why. He got them far yeah. in the World Cup. He, he got them to the semi-finals of Copa America. And he loves Spurs as well. He loves Spurs. Exactly. He's, he's always, a, another one. He's always talking about Spurs. Stand-up guy. Media. I mean, he did have a, repu uh, a reputation at the time as, as a bit of a diver when he played for West Germany. But then and he spun that into a lovely celebration. He's a villain for West Germany. Oh, oh. Referencing the news, referencing the tabloids. He did his little celebration, diving on the floor, and everyone suddenly went, oh, uh, he's a good lad, we yeah, love him. Yeah, banter, banter. Yeah. He's, he was aboard quality. the banter bus. But no, he was a quality striker. I understand him it, being above Sheringham, despite how many years Sheringham did it for us, and Robbie Keane, and how many more goals they both scored. Klinsman just felt like a, it was just like a more important... I know, he wasn't there for long, but I think a lot of the... the Older Spurs fans will tell you about the quality of Jurgen Klinsmann. Yeah. And if you don't know about him, make sure you get on the old YouTube. Well, yeah, you're on YouTube right now. So stay on <laughs> the old YouTube. Get on Vimeo, mate. <laughs> uh, number two, second worst Spurs striker in the Premier League era. Uh, when the ball hits Rose Ed and it uh, smacks you in the head. That's Zamora. Oh, my God. Bobby that Zamora. Tron, that <laughs> That chant is so out of order on so many levels. Because when he went over to the team that shall not be named, yeah. okay, he was actually decent for them. So yeah, what happened? We, did we, we got rid of him in an exchange, didn't we, for Jermaine Defoe? Did we? He was signed. that was that right? Was it for Defoe or someone else? All right. He so signed it wasn't. at the same Don't time. Don't know where I got those facts from. He signed at the exact yeah. same time as Postiga. Okay. We signed Zamora and Postiga. Those were our big our big names at the time that we signed. I feel like we sent Zamora one way and we took something off of West Ham. 
or someone, should I say? I don't know, but can't he can't remember. He scored only one goal for us, and it did, I think it knocked West Ham out of the League Cup. Um, mm. But he got no league goals for us whatsoever. Was there, really high ho- was there high hopes for him, though? Was he supposed to be like I the next big thing? I don't think honest, he was. No, I don't remember. He wasn't that young when we signed him. I don't remember everyone signing him thinking this is the solution. It was just like, great, we've got another squad striker. So why is he so but high up this list, Reese? Because he got no league goals. He scored one goal. He scored one goal in total. Maybe so he didn't get the chance to take loads of penalties like Saldado. Him and Postiga are joint. Oh, well, Saldado got two goals from open play. Ah, oh, okay. He's got none. I know we're in the league. Well, maybe. I don't know. Who's your number two? Who's right. beating Klinsman? Number two on the best strikers ever list. And this was hard. Because part of me wanted to make him number one, but I didn't want to be too controversial. And I didn't want the older generation completely coming down on me like a ton of bricks. So... Number two on the list is Harry Kane. He's one of our own. He's one of our own. See those notes? Uh, Harry Kane. He's one of our own. Harry above, Kane, above one of our own. Kane above Klinsman, above Kane. It's controversial. It's very controversial, but at the end of the above day. Sharingham? Mate, mate, let me tell you why. Neither of those players won the Golden Boot in the Premier League. Okay. Harry Kane did. Yep. Harry Kane is 22 years of age. Okay. More importantly, how much did we pay for Kane, Reese? How much did we pay for him? Nothing! Zero. Nothing. De nada. Nothing, okay? We paid nothing for Harry Kane. Academy player, 2009, came through the ranks. He's been here ever since. Seven years, for those of you who can't count. <laughs> all right? And in two seasons back-to-back, he scored 30 goals in all competitions. And if we decide to add international football, you're looking at about 33, 34. That's why he's up there. He's got years to go. He could be playing until he's 32. So theoretically, he's got another decade of goals to go. And he's made 83 appearances for Spurs in the senior team. And guess how many goals he's bagged, Reese? Guess. 61. 49, Reese. <laughs> 49. The same age as Emma Story. There you go, mate. Straight like that. No, I'm joking. She's not 49 years old. Listen, that's a lot of goals in 83 appearances. <laughs> Yeah, that is a lot. I went with 61 so that it would stitch you up. But uh, yeah, fine, fair enough. Second place. Who's beating him to first then? <sighs> you have to Les. see. Okay, and now for the number one worst Spurs striker in the Premier League era. Any guesses? Incorrect. It is Gregor <laughs> Raziak. Oh, Do right. you remember Gregor Raziak? No, I don't. I and mean, that's how Raziak. bad he must have been. When we signed him, other fans of other clubs laughed at us. What year did we sign him in? That is pathetic. I don't know, mate. Ages ago. I was at school. We signed him for three million. It was an pathe- absolutely <laughs> pathetic, ridiculous sign. I think we got him from Derby County. When the pathetic comes out of Reese, you know it's bad. What a stupid... What kind of... What does that represent? What did that represent about what we were trying to achieve? Gregor Raziak. He had eight Premier League appearances. No goals. Waste of money. <laughs> no waste goals. of time. Awful stuff. He three million and no goals. A lack of first team opportunities because he was rubbish. So is Harry Kane getting a lack of first Three million and no goals. Yeah. Three million for nothing. I can't believe we even gave him a... Only played in the league eight times. ...a mention in in this list. God. He's the worst. He is the worst. He's barely even... barely even remember him. But he is the worst. Janssen. Janssen can't. He's worse than Soldado. He's worse than Rebrop. He's worse than Postiga. He's worse than even Zamora. He is the worst. Raziak. Awful stuff. (laughs) In case you didn't know, he's the worst. All right. Who's the number one? Tell me who the best is. Number one on the best striker list in this top ten of best and worst strikers is... Les, big Les. Jermaine Defoe. Oh, yeah. yeah, He's a yiddo. Jermaine Defoe. He has to be number one, man. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if you agree with this because I don't know I if you, how long you guys have been watching Spurred on for, but we had a debate and he backed Robbie Keane over Defoe. Big mistake because only one of them have come back to the Prem and can still do it. That's a whole other story. <laughs> Jermaine Defoe. I do agree. Let I me do. reel off why this man is number one. A lot of you may not agree with this because he was selfish at times, never really squared the ball, always just went for a shot, but that's what strikers hey, do. Him in. But I'm going to tell you why. He is number 11 on the all-time Premier League scorers list, okay? He's one goal away from breaking into that top 10, and next season he's definitely going to do it. He's on 143 goals. So when he gets a 144, ho, 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 big time. <laughs> Reese voice. <laughs> on top of that, he broke Martin Shivers' record yeah. for European goals. 23 goals he scored. Martin Shivers was on 22. Ha, 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 Martin Shivers. I'm joking, you're a legend. But Jermaine <laughs> Defoe broke it. 23 goals, that's a huge achievement. Great. And he's part of the illustrious five-goal club, where you score yes. five goals in one game in the Premier League. 
against Wigan, 9-1. 9-1. Who else is on that list? Uh, Andy Cole. Yep. Sergio Aguero. Yep, he did that last season. Uh, another Spurs lad, Dimitar Berbatov. Oh, done that for Man United, though. Yeah, it didn't do it for Spurs. Did get four in one game for Spurs. Yep, and the last one, apart from Defoe. Ah, uh, I don't know. All-time Prem scorer, period. Um, Alan Shearer? Alan Shearer. Andy Cole, Alan Shearer, Berbatov, Aguero, and Jermaine Defoe. Do you know how hard it is to score five goals in one game, mate? Have you even done it at Power League? Let alone in a Premier League top flight game. It is so hard, okay? The only thing more impressive than that was Messi scoring five in the Champions League game. Yeah, fair enough. That's, but that's absolutely Messi. That's ridiculous. Yeah, 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 he's okay. the only person to ever do that. But Jermaine Defoe, there's some pretty impressive accolades. I think the only problem is he, he didn't win anything with us. The two no. times he won the League Cup, no. he, he wasn't there. The first time he went to Portsmouth. And then when Portsmouth won the FA Cup, he came back to I us, know, so he missed gutted, out on that as gutted, well. Missed out. I watched a documentary yeah. about Jermaine Defoe, and he was asked to sum up his career in one word, and he said, goals. Goals, that's it. Goals. Not an eloquent man, but you know. He that's can what he did. Goals. And we're talking about strikers here. Yeah. And this is a man that found the net. And remember, this is a Premier League era. We're not talking about in black and white 1960s and stuff, because I know a lot of you other people get onto us. Yeah, oh, Jamie Gray's. I don't want to hear all of these other pl- great Obviously players great. and stuff, Gary Lillard. I don't want to hear all of it, okay? Jermaine Defoe, Premier League era. He's number one on the list. A lot better than Gregor Raziak. So, guys, this has been our sort of top five best Spurs strikers in the Premier yep. League era, alongside our top five worst strikers for Spurs in the Premier League era. Let us know your thoughts. Have we got the order wrong? Are there people that we missed out? Again, Premier League era, remember? Don't be making a fool of yourself in the comments section like you often do. Pathetic. <laughs> And make sure to like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you're new for more stuff like this, and we will see you next time with another Top 10. This week we're going to be talking about Vincent, not Victor, Vincent Janssen <laughs> officially signing for Tottenham Hotspur. Uh, the new kits have been revealed. Uh, Hugo and France lost in the Euros final. What does that mean for Spurs? 